So there's this contention sometimes that I've heard um, Christian commentators talk about when it, it, it mentions, um, it, they talk about judging people um, and judgment in general and whether or not the Bible allows for judgment or whether it, it does or not. Um, so I thought I'd go right to the horse's mouth and ask Jesus himself um, if that was the case. And I've heard many Christians say that, you know, well, the Bible doesn't actually say don't judge. Nowhere in the Bible does it say do not judge. Like, and I just, I was kind of skeptical because in my experience, it, it didn't, it didn't sound like that, like really jived with it. So I wanted to ask Jesus about it. Um, and Jesus is here with us. And it just so happens that Jesus uh, showed me a verse in the seventh chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, and he said it's like one instance of this too, so this is really... But it says here, Do not judge so that you may not be judged, for with the judgment you make you will be judged, and the measure you give will be measured you get. So like, I was really thinking about this, and I'm like, listen Jesus like how can you not judge and really I think what it's talking about is it's like you can judge if you're perfect because in the following verse it says well it starts down here and it says why do you see the speck in your neighbor's eye but do not notice the log in your own eye or how can you say to your neighbor let me take out a speck of your eye while the log is in your own eye it's basically saying like, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jesus, but it's basically saying like, in order to judge, you would have to be like the embodiment of that standard by which you're judging. And um, the embodiment of that standard would be perfection if you believe in something like a perfect God and a perfect faith. But the problem is no one's perfect. So, that's really what Jesus, I think, was trying to say. Is he was trying to say, no one's perfect. You have a speck in your eye, or you have a log in your eye. You have a fucking two by four in your eye, and you're pointing out. He was trying to show how stupid judgment is. So for Christians to come out and say, no, actually in the Bible it says that we must judge. And especially when they say, Nowhere in the Bible does it say do not judge or it doesn't it's not biblical to say Um Yeah. I so I'm a little confused. And that's just that's just one reference to no judging, no judgment. Um there's a lot more. So I'm just confused as to what these Christian commentators are talking about. Do they read their own Bible, or are they so indoctrinated by their biases, maybe their upbringing, that they're literally blinded to what things actually, what they actually say? Because I feel like that happens a lot, where people become so blinded by their biases and so married to their beliefs that any information which deviates from that bias, from that bias, they cast away. Including, and up to and including, the truth.